Well, Nigel and you are being encouraged to understand the government policies to improve their government's performance. At the 2023 Dapa Yodun Youth End of Year Party, Honorable Kola Olakwadi, a former commissioner, emphasized the importance of youth in achieving sustainable peace and development, urging them to embrace entrepreneurship and also overcome uh, fear to become great in society. Most, most importantly is the fact that our young people are people that I'm always very proud of. And, I'm, and I, like I said to them, Governor Dapa Yodun, CON, has created a very organic system under the Ishaya mantra to empower young people. This is why you see that even the sports festival was brought in order to create leverage for young people. A lot of entrepreneurs will come out from that and see what he did with our Greek in his first term. How he empowered thousands of young people. And I've just said to them that they need to conquer fear and be able to speak to government policies. They need to be able to create entrepreneurship and depending on, rather than depending on government all the time. I've also said they need to be vigilant around their neighborhood so that they can also point to the authorities where someone that is mysterious comes into the neighborhood. Um, so the take home, the take home for me was the bottom line. I said conquer fear. Once you conquer fear, you'll be part, you'll play a huge role in ensuring there is peace and sustainable development within your country. Now, Honorable Rashid uh, Roboto, convener and also former uh, special assistant to the governor and youth, praised the program for providing youth with a sense of belonging and also promoting peace and unity. This is the program that I've been doing for a while now. Let me say we started in 2019, where we believe supporting the government of the day is our watchword and making sure the youth in the state is also, is also getting the sense of belonging which is supposed to have and basically or literally the government uh, or whatever and as you can see we also believe uh, uh, supporting the youth uh, our co youth in the state is even more important and uh, more uh, how would I call it more serious to our mind uh, in order to make sure that uh, we give out from the little we are hearing or we are getting yeah, from ourselves, from our sweat, or from the government as well. So and, uh, this is a way of uh, making sure they have the sense of belonging, in short. And if you can see, uh, uh, we, uh, this should be like the fourth program yeah, since 2019. Presently, the main target is 500. This is what we can afford at the moment based on the economic issue. And we can look at uh, what is happening in the country at the moment. Uh, but presently, we are looking at 500. Uh, the youth uh, play vital roles in the development of uh, every society. And uh, thank God that in Ogo State today, we have a governor who actually understands that fact and is playing a critical role in ensuring that he's building a brighter future for the state, surrounding himself with a lot of young people who he is mentoring to make sure that they also take charge. After he, he leave office, they take charge and he will be sure that they are going to do well. So we, we thank God. And today we have also come to talk to ourselves like a capacity building that in uh, 2023 we have uh, done well. And uh, what we have done in 2023, we are happy with it. And if we talk to ourselves, 2024 can be better. So that's the essence that we have. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.